Well, hello, everybody. It's been fun talking with you, but at the same time, it's been inspiring to me because the challenge in my life at this stage is one that I relish. My life has become an adventure. Now, adventures have an element of mystery. Adventures have a great element of the unexpected. But the thing that I've been trying to help you understand is we have been talking about the fear that we allow ourselves to conjure up in our minds that allows us to literally talk ourselves out of taking the chance and the risk and putting ourselves out there to do something that we can do, but we somehow or the other allow ourselves to think no, I don't think I can. I know it's harder for some people than it is for others because there are a lot of people that have been raised in life being told they're really not good to do anything. But do you know that some of the greatest motivators, the greatest scientists, the greatest doctors, some of the greatest world leaders, some of the greatest athletes were people who were raised in just such environments, told that they would never amount to anything, and some way, somehow, either through a word of encouragement from a mentor or something they read or a life that they observed, they realized there was no reason why they couldn't do the same thing. And, you know, we need to learn to admire those kinds of individuals, even if you don't necessarily agree with their particular thought process or their political position or their religious affiliation. Our world spends way too much time putting people into profiles, categorizing them. We're all unique. We're all special. The only reason why I'm sharing this with you is because I know what failure means. But I also know what failure has taught me about what I can do. And fear is the biggest single thing that has prevented me from being more successful than I have been until recently. So my resolve is to get fear out of the equation entirely. When I last spoke to you, I talked to you about the letter F. Our foe, fear. But in fact, it's a fake. It's a fraud. It's figment. It's just a faux finish, F-A-U-X. It means nothing. It has no power over us unless we let it. What about the E? E stands for enemy. Fear is the enemy of the mind. Fear is the enemy of the heart. Fear is the enemy of our resolve. What do we do with enemies? Do we give them quarter? Or do we take up our sword of faith and belief and confidence and put it up in the face of the enemy and say, you got one of two choices. You either get out of here or I'm going to take you down. And the truth of the matter is, we should expel that enemy of fear from our lives and expel its presence from our lives with those that we care about and love. I'm John Morrow, professional speaker, Toastmaster for 29 years, automobile claims adjuster and personal injury specialist who worked with literally thousands of customers who went through difficult injury situations. And I learned a great deal about the human condition and the human need. And I have a yearning to give that message to people today. And I have to overcome my fear, that fear that I think I can't do it because I'm not as good as Tony Robbins or as good as a Jim Rohn or as good as a Les Brown. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't want you to look at me as Les Brown or Jim Rohn or Tony Robbins. They've got their own style and they already have arrived. But the reason why is because they didn't fear to give it a chance and try. They were relentless and they were fearless. Now I'm fearless. I have a message. Expel the enemy in your life. Send it out. Tell it to go. 
It doesn't belong there. You have value. You have something worth saying. You have something worth being heard. You have a gift. You have many gifts. But the greatest gift is you. Don't let fear petrify you. Don't let fear paralyze you. Take that enemy, slay it, and begin to strive to the excellence that you were created to achieve. I'm John Morrow. Have a great day.